Hey, so I'm back with another Trezor's Deluxe Design Team project, and this time around, I uh, going on with my storage theme because just like my last design team project, I am doing a lot of projects right now to help me get better organized in my craft room. So I decided to make this time around a fabric wall hanging that is going to hang in my craft room closet to store all my you know, ephemera pieces that I buy. So I have all kinds of ephemera pieces from Seven Gypsies and Tim Holtz and, you know, different manufacturers. And they just sit in a cubby that I totally forget to go to when I'm doing projects. So I wanted to have this fabric wall hanging sitting up in my closet so that it would remind me to use those pieces. So this is what my project is. And let me come out. Let me move this sign out of the way and show you what this looks like and it's I can't get it all in and excuse my backdrop I don't have a professional way of <laughs> shooting these kind of videos so I just have a big old piece of black velvet hanging there so that this shows up better and it's just hanging off of uh, my paint brush caddy so yeah anyway this is it. So if you keep watching, you'll see how this came together. This is a fabric pocket system that I sewed together and did some stamping and a lot of lace collage with a lot of the beautiful laces from Trezor's Deluxe and some other pieces that I got from the store as well. And like I said, if you keep watching, you'll see that. But this is the front part. And I'm going to come up close so you can see here are all my little pockets. And the reason why I decided to sew my own is because I wanted to have more um, customized pocket sizes. Because you could easily do this to one of those fabric pocket systems that you can get at Bed Bath & Beyond or Target or wherever. But like I said, I wanted customized pockets to hold some of the shorter pieces of ephemera that I have. So I have small pockets and then I have like these really big pockets. And I went ahead and just did a little hanging tag off of this as well. So if you keep watching, you'll see the hanger that this started out as. Again, it was a piece that I got from Target and I did some stamping on it. And I also did a dry brush with uh, some gesso just to kind of shabby it up a little bit. And I'll turn it around, which it's going to be kind of hard to do one handed. Okay, sorry guys, I got to set this down for a minute. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Because <laughs> I'm trying to keep my black background so that you can see this. Okay, sorry about that. And here's the back part of this try to give an overview of this as well. I did a doily collage on the back. Even though you're not going to even see the back side, I just thought I'd better finish it off anyway. So I didn't get crazy with uh, the collage, just a few doily pieces just to have on here. And then I had cut up some of the lace from Trezor's Deluxe, and this was the top piece. There was a uh, applique part that I cut off the bottom and used around on the front side. So this was how I decided to use it on the back side. I went ahead and collaged it onto the wood frame of the hanger. And then here's a couple, or actually a <laughs> filigree piece that I cut in half with my Tim Holtz scissors. And again, I did that same dry brush technique with the gesso just to, again, shabby it up so it's not so bright with the brass part. And I think that's it on the back side. Okay, so I'm going to turn this back around. Sorry, I have to set this down again. And get this set up right so that I can kind of go over a little bit. I'm not going to get too much, as usual, I'm not going to get too much into detail with this. Because if you keep watching, you'll see how this came together. But this all started out. My first thing that I did was the hanger that I altered, did some stamping on, and let me get the tag out of the way. I did do a tag as well. So here's a little fabric tag. I did some stamping. This is sticky back canvas. 
that um, I had printed a graphic out onto and this was actually this tag was a clothing tag that was attached to something I bought and uh, so I used that as the base and stitched the sticky back canvas to it and then laid out some of the Tresor's Deluxe Laces right here. This is again a cut off part from something else I, I used. And then this is a lace piece that, lace trim that I cut one little piece off of to use in the bottom here. And I did some stamping too with the Something Tattered stamp right there. Going with this Parisian theme on the tag anyway. And I did a wrap with some lace around the top and I believe that's for my stash. And again, another graphic printed onto sticky back canvas that was stuck back here. So, again, just something to hang off of here. And here is some layering I did. This is a lace underneath here from Lucy Shop. Beautiful lace that's layered underneath. I can't lift it because I've glued everything down now, but. Um, and then this beautiful wide trim right here that I used as my border at the top. Wrapped a doily around. Stuck some wood buttons in here. And this is that um, trim right here. This little spray that I got in my design team package this month. So I used that there and also down here in some spots. Then I use some flat back pearls to just kind of embellish the center of the flowers and that lace trim. So if you go further down, you'll see the stamping I did on the canvas pockets that are sewn into my fabric wall hanging here. And then this is some more trim that I've cut up and collaged on. Same here. I mean, I did a lot of cutting of the laces on this piece, so... And then here's that fat flower that was included. It's like a crinoline flower that was included in my design team project. And I took a French script stamp, <coughs> excuse me, and sepia ink and um, just kind of did a little bit of stamping on top of the flower. Because so I was kind of going with sepia tones with the uh, laces and cream. Ugh. Laces and cream. Hello, Kim. Um sepia ink with the cream and whites that I used on this fabric collage. Oh boy, I have a really hard time talking. Like I said, the stupid part of my brain comes into function every time I hit the record button. And then here's some more collage. I used a little wood piece on this applique that I had gotten from Trezor's Deluxe. I love this applique. And my light keeps going in and out, so I hope this is recording properly. But anyway, um, I, I just uh, stuck a little wood piece butterfly button that I had and um, used that there. Um, going further down, just some more work here with stamping and lace applique, collage. And then here's the other piece that I got in my design team package that chiffon flower that was on the doily and I put another connector piece from a doily on top of that and then a, another wood button for the center and this is one of my embellishment pieces that I made with memory glass I just thought the image kind of fit the theme of the wall hanging with my ephemera so I really like that and then down here at the bottom this is another couple of layering pieces that I did with the laces from Lucy's store. So you'll see back here there's a piece of lace and then there's this one over the top of it. So my very first fabric wall hanging, I really like the way this turned out. So I am now ready. Here you can see all my ephemera pieces <laughs> that are going to go in here and I actually have a lot more in my cubby. So I'm going to have to make another one of these to uh, store all the pieces that I've got but you can kinda see how this is gonna work so like here's my pocket then I'm just gonna start stuffing you know my little pieces in and 
like right up here tall pocket for the bigger pieces and then I have just you know a few smaller pieces as well so you know like these little and that's the reason why I wanted to customize it if I can get this bag open because I have like these smaller pieces of ephemera you know like right here that I've cut out so I kind of wanted to have like the smaller pockets for that these little smaller pieces from seven gypsies that I've got you know, go up in here. I've got a lot that needs to go in. That's why I'm going to have to do more pieces. More pieces. That's why I'm going to have to do another one of these fabric collages because I'm just not going to have enough room for all the collage ephemera that I have. So, but anyway, so this is my my design team piece. So if you keep watching, like I said, you'll see how this came together. It's going to be a really long video because there was a lot of process um, to, the, to making this. So, all right, keep watching if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm starting the other part of this design team project. And the other thing that I'm going to do is make a fabric pocket wall hanging system to store these kind of bits like this. These get stored in a cabinet and I never see them so I never think to use them. So what I want to do is make this fabric pocket wall hanging system to hang down the side of my fabric tower. So it'll be out and I'll see it. So it's going to be a, a pocket system where I can just tuck you know these bits and pieces inside for storage. Because um, that's what this is all about is um, making storage so I can get better organized in my craft room. Okay, so the first thing I did is I have just sewed one of these hangers because I'm going to use this as my hanger piece. I got these at Target. It was like a four pack for five dollars or something. But, um, and they open like so. So then you can just put your fabric piece right here and clamp it down and it locks in place. Then you can turn this, because this can be turned anyway, so, um, because I'm thinking about doing a couple of these for my craft room closet, too, so I can just hang that, you know, off my little wire rack, but anyway, so, but I don't, I don't like the color, so what I did is, as you can see here, let me get this down, I have just sewed this. I'm waiting for this top part to dry and then I'm going to flip it over and do the back side. I even just sewed some of the metal on this because I don't want that bright silver. I kind of want it to be more of a white color. And my next step is now I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to lay out my, fa my, my fabric wall hanging. So I have a base that I'm using and I am using this Peltex Ultra Firm Sew-In and it's a stabilizer and it's pretty stiff and that's why I'm using it and also because I can sew on top of it. I don't, I don't know what the size is here. Um, hold on and I'll tell you. <laughs> so I've got about 12 and a quarter wide. So it's 12 and a quarter wide and lengthwise, oh, I can't even measure lengthwise because my yardstick is out in the other room where I've been cutting my fabric. But this ruler is 15 inches. I'm going to say 18. So this is about 12 and a quarter by 18 inches long right here. So I am going to figure out what I want my front and back fabrics to be. And I'm also going to try to figure out, I don't know if I'm going to put some batting in this. I may put some quilting batting in it and maybe do like a quilty design and build my pockets on top of that. I don't know yet. I've got to figure that out. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so there are a ton of blogs uh, on the internet that explain how to do these fabric pocket wall hangings. And I just went to a couple of them to try to get an idea of what I wanted to do. And so what I've done is I've taken some cotton muslin and topped it with just a, a very sheer lace fabric background just to add some extra interest. And then I have cut out of cotton canvas 
some pockets and I have different size pockets and they're just kind of staggered and laid you know out how I kind of kind of want the arrangement. I left a lot of space up here at the top because there's a really beautiful trim piece from Trezor's Deluxe that I want to use at the top so I don't want anything on that so that's why there's that gap at the top. So you kind of have to to figure out what your design is going to be before you start sewing because once it's sewed down it's too late. And what I did on these cotton canvas pieces after I cut them out and I also used pinking shears all around the edges because I'm not going to sew on the inside. I'm going to do just an outer um, and leave the outer edges showing. So I use my pinking shears to have a little bit of again some more interest instead of just being a, a straight cut line. Um, I even thought I may use my seam ripper afterwards and just go ahead and shred it. I don't know yet but my intention now is to just sew around the three sides here. So what I did is I folded my fabric over so I had more um, I don't know what you call it up here at the top and uh, because I'm going to be putting things in here so I need this to be kind of sturdy. So I folded that over and then did a zigzag stitch in a contrasting uh, thread color because I like the look of stitches on project, projects so I wanted, I wanted it to be seen. I also did backwards and forwards in a few spots just so it looks real scribbly so I like that look too so I didn't want it looking just straight neat stitches. I want it to look definitely handmade. Ugh. Allergy. Sorry, you guys. I'm sniffling like crazy right now. Florida allergy sock. Okay, so uh, so that's where I'm at right now. So I'm getting ready to take this to my sewing machine. And then you can see I've pinned everything down because this is the placement. And now I'm going to go around and sew all three sides and then go around the outer edges too to catch this. Because what's going to happen is my backing piece is going to be faced this way and I'm going to sew around three sides here and turn it inside out and stick that Peltex in the middle of it and uh, then sew the top back together um, so that it becomes you know this sturdy pocket piece and then I'm going to start to embellish it so I'll either be back with another step or it'll just be the reveal video Okay, so I have everything sewn together now. Sewn on, sewn in, everything. So I have taken that Peltex Ultra Firm and I slid that inside the top because I left this top part open. I didn't stitch it down and I stuffed that Peltex in there. And then I went in and sewed just a straight seam across. Cause you're, not even going to be seeing any of this actually because by the time I get my lace trim put on the top you won't even see that but um, so it's you know it's really good stiff wall hanging now so I like that it's not going to be all floppy although I do like that look too don't get me wrong but right now what I'm doing before I even start putting all my appliques and, and lace trims on here, what I want to do on my canvas pockets that I have here is I want to do some stamping on top of it. And you know, I want to have like a, a stamp design on each pocket. I think right now that's where I'm at anyway. So what I pulled out are the LeBlanc stamps, which if you go to the Trezor's Deluxe website, you will find all these stamps. I adore these stamps. They're my top three favorite. That and Lucy also carries the Stampers Anonymous stamp sets and the Classics stamp sets. I love these stamp sets. These and the Lynn Perella collection from Paper Artsy are my top three favorite stamps. I just love these. They're so artsy looking and um, you know I love using them in my journals and so I have these pulled out now because I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to use where. So I'm thinking about stamping that there. Um, I th I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this piece I got in my design team package down here in the corner. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to use this like stamp that and it's not the going to be the whole stamp just you know this part 
top part here but I like that look and I'm thinking I'll stamp that in the corner here and then have that in the bottom corner and I realize you can't see any of that now looking up but I like the look of that so I think I'm gonna go with something like that I'm just doing my layout right now trying to figure this out um, and I really don't know I like some of the quotes that are in here I just don't know where I'm going with this yet I'm just trying to lay you know to figure out where I want to lay things out and like I think yeah I don't know <laughs> this stamp set is awesome I love this piece right here um, so but yeah I don't know I just like I said I'm just kind of playing around with it right now um, and this these sets right here would be like kind of perfect to use on my little short pockets so I could do that that down here um, yeah I don't think this is gonna go with the theme but I absolutely love this stamp set too I love all these classics uh, classic sheets that you can get from Stampers Anonymous so go check out the uh, store and you can find all these they are just really beautiful art stamps okay so that's where I'm at right now and I think what's gonna happen is I'm probably gonna come back um, with either one more step or it's just gonna be the reveal video I know I say that every time I close a segment but I just never know where I'm going with this so all right I'll be back okay so this is what I wound up doing almost stamping right here and I pulled out another classic sheet that I didn't show before this is the uh, classics number 19 and I use this bottom one right here to also stamp my hanger so I did like a border on this hanger so that when it gets put to the top here there's just um you know just some more interest there so um yeah so that's where I'm at right now so I thought I would just come back and share a little bit of how I am collaging the lace onto my piece right here. And here you can see at the top where I've started. And I'm starting to come down to the bottom right here now. And so I thought I would just share with you, like I said, how I am cutting apart these laces. So or trims I don't even know what you call this I don't suppose technically it's lace it's trim but um <clears throat> maybe it is lace I don't know but anyway I digress so I am using this one right now on the bottom but what I'm doing is I'm layering with another piece on top and so I decided to just cut off the part that I wanted to show which is this piece right here because I'm going to layer another top over another piece over the top of this and <clears throat> you can't be afraid to cut into these types of laces because I used to be one of those I'd get these beautiful you know trims and I'd be like like this you know I'd be like oh I'm not going to cut that up I'm not going to put my scissors to that no way and um but to get really pretty um, layered looks to your, you know, lace collage that you do, whether it's a lace book, a fabric wall hanging, um, a needle book, whatever, canvases, you really do need to, um, you know, cut these apart to make them unique where it's, you know, a piece you're putting together that has your own individual style. So what I'm doing is I am cutting right here where these threads connect and like so and then what I'm left with is still this really piece real, blah, 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 really pretty piece of lace here so I mean I really you know you, you get a little bit of bang for your buck because you're you know doubling up on how you're using this so I'm gonna cut off these little ragged edges here and the points right here are going to be glued and you could stitch that down as well but I've done all the stitching I'm going to on this piece so right now what I'm gonna do is glue 
these down just to tack down that piece the point piece on the bottom here and then let me see if I can get more in frame where I can do this without having to be all ass backwards with it like I am okay <laughs> so you have the piece like this and I know I have a really dirty background um, oh, and here's the piece I am thinking about using. I may change my mind. I don't know. This is just part of the process. But I'm thinking what I'm going to do is then lay this piece on top. Like so. And do something like that. So that, you know, you have this piece that you see on the top. But then there'll be this other little dangle part underneath. So that's where I'm at right now. And like I said, I'm still collaging laces on here. So, um, but I thought I would at least show you what I'm doing as far as, you know, cutting these laces apart. So um, I'm going to go in right now and just clean up these laces right here by snipping all these pieces off like so. You know, cleaning it up snipping it down and I'm going to continue with my little collage I've got going on here. So I probably won't be back until uh, the real reveal video. All right, I'll see ya.